Oh no, it's not liking that. All right, let's back up a little. Oh, I've gone all the way back down to the bottom. Go on, let's give it a go again. So this is Spruce Mountain Farms. This is by Maps by Mako, 151.59 megabyte on the download. And it says, welcome to Spruce Mountain Farms, a fictional USA map. To the north you will find large mountains filled with logging areas and many trails for exploring. Some require a 4x4 only to access. Ooh, excellent. Now, what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on here on Farm Manager or start from scratch, you will use 1064 slots. Now, if you come on here on New Farmer, you will use 1279. Now, the difference between the two obviously it's going to be the equipment so if we go into this menu here then we'll go into the small tractors we've got the Bura 6105 on the medium tractors we've got the Massey Ferguson MF3670 on the large tractors the Case Magnum 340 CVX drive on the trucks we've got the Mac Pinnacle 6x4 on the harvesters we've got the Case Axial Flow 7150 on the cars we've got the Lizard Pickup 1986 on the trailers, we've got the Load King Distinction Triple Hopper and then the Crampy Half Pipe HP20. Then come down to headers, we've got the Case 3050 Flex 28 foot. On the cultivators, we've got the Cockling Vector 800. On the cedars, we've got the, the Vedastat Rapid A 800S. On the fertilizer spreaders, we've got the Breedle K105. On the mowers, we've got the Converland 4140L. On the tethers, we've got the Kuhn GF8712. On the wind rowers, we've got the Samaz Z2840H. Then we come down to forage wagons. We've got the Possinger Faro 4010D. On the animals, we've got the Joskin Aquatrans 7300S. On the animal transport, we've got the Kingston Trailers Belvedere. On the front loaders, we've got the Quickie Q6M. Front loader tools, we've got the Albert Universal Bucket. Header trailers, we've got the Nardi N70-30. On the weights, we've got the 10 Winkle FGB 600. So that's your equipment that you start with. So that's a fairly decent set of equipment, mind you. Plus, lots. There was no 3 meters, which is always good. Now, map size. Here's where the PDA is a little bit interesting. Because obviously, they're fairly big fields knocking around in this area. And then you come down the bottom here, and we've got some really small ones. So if you really wanted to get started down here, you could buy this sort of area like that. You know, get some small fields going on the go. They're like seven grand. And that one there is like 19. You know, you want something cheap on the go. But then you come up to these big ones up here. 106 grand, 82. They're not that expensive, to be fair. You know, it's all right on the land perspective. Now, there is forestry areas. If you could this key over here, obviously we've got Viable forestry areas, so you've got F123 and whatever. So whatever got the orange number in, you can buy that. That's a forestry area. Now, what also is interesting, up the top here, we've got a little off-road track. So you've got the easier path to Spruce Mountain, follow the green trail. The steep terrain, use caution, follow the yellow trail, which is there. Or if you want to go for it, balls to the wall, off-road path, 4x4 only, go for the red route. And I've had a little try on it already with a TLX 3500 and I got stuck. So <laughs> it is off-roading, definitely, which is, it was fun. It was fun, I must admit. Now, what are we talking about from a shop perspective? Now, if we come down here, everything's good. We're all right until we get a little bit further down, until we get to some of the production chains. Now, it's usual shenanigans on the go here until we get down to fabric. So fabric enclosed, so there's no spinnery and there's no tailor shop. And then we'll carry on coming down as well. Cereal, you can't sell cereal, all right. But if you get further down, one of my biggest bugbears is there. Chocolate. I mean, everywhere sells chocolate. <laughs> Why can you not sell? I mean, we've got some strawberries there. I mean, we've got a bakery. They use chocolate. Why can't you sell it to them? I mean, fast food restaurant. They always use chocolate on their puddings. Why can't you sell to them? Johnson's Farmer's Market, they're guaranteed they will sell some sort of chocolate at a farmer's market. So what's what's going on there? And if you come further down, 
obviously we've got furniture we can't sell so there is no carpentry although you've got the planks there to sell to carpentry or well, maybe we've got to buy it oh that's interesting maybe we have to have a little look as we go around solid fertilizer that's fine manure yeah digest that you can't normally lime you can't herbicide you can't and stones there is a debris crusher which is all good obviously we're going down into the other mods we got downloaded today but as a standard base game one yeah there's a couple of strange things we'll see if they pan out as we go further around so we'll go back up to the map because if you come on new farmer you start with this area here this area here and the rest is ready to go although you have this strange little blue ship down here that you own as well this is a little bit random but all right carry on so we have got field six field seven field eight and then the main farm area here so you actually start the game off just down a big driveway right here so what we'll do we'll jump in the pickup that starts down here as well we'll drive up to the main farm it's a bit of a trek mind you it's a long driveway so if you didn't want people walking past your front door this is ideal nice line tree driveway we cut the fields either side you don't own them but you can buy them not a problem and then we come up to the main farm area here there we are now just one thing to note as well before we get going around this farm area this house isn't here when you come on farm manager will start from scratch the house isn't there all the other buildings are not the house anyway so your house obviously your sleep trigger there for you and we come out of that and we've got a barn over here so the one from elm creek and it's even got the basement there for you and we'll come around here obviously you go in there you got your hayloft bit at the top of there you got a disused barn over here put a bit of storage on the go in there then we'll come over here we've got the main farm silo load in and load out at the front and again you've got your barn workshop whatever you want to call it from elm creek again just there for you got your diesel tank here so we'll click on that eight thousand liters that's going to hold it's got two thousand liters in it already so that means that's a ten thousand liter tank oh gives you two thousand liters that's all right so we'll come around here a bit more storage with this shed got a horse pasture so feed in there water in there animal dialogue box and you've already got one in can hold five i'm sure that's really big enough for five horses mind you they need a bit of room to have a bit of a gallop mind you dear oh dear right so we'll open this door we can go in here the sheds there's your animal transport there we'll open up the next door like that there's your workshop trigger click on that fix your vehicles we'll go out this door we'll come over here you got shed over there a bit of storage and we've got two silos here well three silos here bible silos so click on that so that's going to be for your seeds and mineral feed and we'll come over to this one that's going to be for your liquid fertilizer and then this one i'd imagine is going to be your solid fertilizer all fairly simple and then we've got this big building here open up that door very big building actually store all your equipment in and then if we come out of there we'll go down this bit here got a nice little area you can back your trailer into like they have done over here well then what's this is a bit random <laughs> you've got this bit here looks like a hmm weather station maybe let's click on that actually oh that's a bit further up so you've got a little pond here if you want to back your trailer into get some free water that's always good a bit of free water so we'll come around this bit up here we've got a hay loft which is very nice so obviously you load your stuff in the side there and then you take your stuff out there and we'll carry on over the road here and we could go through the trees yeah we'll go through the trees why not <laughs> there we are so we've got a production chain here so we'll click on that so 60 grand or we'll buy that 
Now, does that change the shop menu? Because we can now go to planks and furniture. No, we're still saying, hmm. All right, fair enough. So, usual shenanigans with this. So, pallet spawn point round there. And then your loading point is there. Hit your style wood icon. All fairly neat and close to your main farm. I mean, got all these trees as well. If you really was into your logging, this is quite a good map for it. Yeah, I like it. Right. We're going to move up to the next area before we actually disappear anywhere. Because this is something ace. I do like this. So we'll come around this corner, through the trees, up to this bridge. We'll turn right through the trees as well. Now you're going to need a bit of specialist equipment for this. Because right now this is a bit of a lake. Yeah? So if we go back into the map like that. Got wood chips there. We'll click on that. We'll buy that. 25 grand. Yes. There's a load of wood chips in the water. That is ace. I mean, you can't really see it when you're a bit further out, but you buy it, you can go dig out wood chips from... That is ace. Obviously, it's like one of those streams where they send logs down, and it's just a culmination of all the wood chips just stacked up. Go dig them out with a front loader or whatever, and then go sell them on. Oh, that's ace. I like that. Very nice. Oh, if we come over past this log here, and a little up the road so normally you'd come over that bridge if you was with a vehicle because we've got this here miller's sawmill hmm, very nice so up in the woods so what well, round to the left here is where you take out your wood chips and we'll come over there we'll go for the spanner icon so we'll click on that 100 grand to buy. And you got to load your wood into there, which is a bit interesting because obviously you can't just back your trailer over. What can you? That should be able to. That should be alright. Obviously, hit our wood icon and then there's your pallet spawn point. Oh, very nice. Right. We're going to move on and over to this area here. So, this can be another production chain. So this is the grain mill. So, standard. Base going one from Elm Creek, mind you. Pallet spawn point there. Production chain menu there. 96 grand. And that means that if you come up here, there's your loading in point. All rather simple. So we'll carry on down to this area here. So the first bit we've got here, if we click on that, is Grain West Silo. Now on the map there, it's got the icon for a train silo, but there's no train track down here. Mm, okay fair enough and if you come up to this building you can see the blue glow of an icon and i can't seem to open that door now bear in mind if we click on that we own that bit of land anyway that's a little bit random and if we come down here as well we've got this ladder floating in midair well i'll get up the top actually oh get on the roof that's interesting. There's a toolbox here. What's this do? Oh, you can pick that up. <laughs> well, eat that off the edge. Why not? Brilliant. Although, there is collectibles on the map, but there's not any on the roof, mind you, which support there might have been. Fair enough. Right, so we'll come down there, back down the ladder. Can't get stuck. Then we'll come up and back round the front here to the actual cell point. So it's just up there, sell your stuff. So that is going to be called Grain West Silo. And then next to that over there. See, this is what I don't get. See on there, it's got the train icon. So you've got your loading into the silo. You've got your taking out that you would normally have from a train track. But there's no train. Hmm. All right. Then you've got your line by point there. Fair enough. Right, we're going to move down the map to this area here. So this is going to be your sale point. So this is called Johnson's Farmer's Market. And you've got the main building over there. And there's your sale points here. So loose stuff goes into the grating. Pallets go on that bit. All fairly simple, not a problem. So we'll move on to this one down here. 
All right, so this is going to be a sale point. So this is called South Valley Biomass Energy. So obviously, pull your vehicle there. Hit the sale wood icon. Jobs are good. Un. Now, you can buy this area like that. It's going to cost you 448 It gives you everything else. But then, I wonder if you still got to buy the actual production chains. I will buy it. Let's have a look. Let's see what it does. So we'll leave that there. We'll move over to this one here. Now this one's a bit of a strange one because this is cereal factory. But if we go into the menu, that was one of the things that we couldn't sell. So we've got a factory that can make it. I mean, there there is mods that you can put down, sell anything or whatever. So you load your stuff in there, your pallets there, and your production chain there, 110 grand. So that being said, we bought that area for 400 odd grand and we still got to buy... Oh, now that area wasn't included. Ooh, that's interesting. What if we buy that? Do we now own the production chain? No, we still got to buy it anyway. All right, fair enough. Yeah, that is a bit strange. Having a factory there that can produce something that you can't actually sell it on the base game. Just a little random for me, but all right, we'll carry on. We're going to carry on over to this area here. This is another sale point for you. So we'll click on that, feed and grain south. So you load your stuff in there. Jobs are good. Un. So we'll let some collectibles here. We can jump up like that. Collect that. Thank you very much. That was oh, another one there. The pig one there. Collect that. Thank you. Two grand. Job is good. Un. Then we come down over here. And we've got a fuel station. We'll go see how much they're charging. Because obviously petrol at the minute is a bit shocking. Well, it has been for a while. Especially by me. It's just ridiculous. They're charging 69. Nice, <laughs> buy that all day, every day. Right, we're going to move over to this area up here. Now, this area again is a bit strange because we've got two cell points and what looks like another train silo. In the first one here, so this one's going to be called Central Exports. Yeah, not a problem. Load it in there, loose stuff in the grate, pallets over there. And if we come up here, because we go around this corner, and then in there is your load in, load out, like you would do, like the, the train silo on Elm Creek. But then, if we come back around here, this is where the train icon should be. And this, it's not here. I like right on top of the train icon, which should be like where this little outhouse building part is. And it's, mm, it's not there. Okay, we'll move on. We're going to move over the road to this bit here. So as you can imagine from the icon, this is going to be your main shop. So main shop icon there. Then we'll come over here for your workshop trigger. So pull your vehicle in the hatch marking area. Hit the spanner. Fix your vehicles up. Mm, very nice. Right. We're going to move down to this area here. As you can imagine from the icon, this is going to be your animal dealer. So pull your trailer here or sell them directly if you want to. Obviously, we've got the horse barn. And then over there is going to be a cell point. So I'd imagine this is going to be called animal cell point or something like that. We'll zoom in. There you are. Animal dealer, cell point. Same thing. Fair enough. And then we'll come all out. Cooked up on the fence. Right, we'll come out of there and we'll go down the road because next door to the animal dealer is another BGA. Well, no, it's the BGA because the other one was the biomass heating plant, wasn't it? Or some description of that. So we'll come around here and turn right through this fenced area. And this is your BGA. All very nice. So you come up here. Got two big bonker silos there. Load your stuff in like that. We'll jump down here. There's your production chain menu. 1.5 mil. And then we'll come over here. Here's your methane output. Well, methane tank. Pump, whatever you want to call it. Buy point. Then you've got your slurry loading in point there. You've got an electric charging point there. And then we'll come around the back. 
because that'll be where your digestate taken out point is. All fairly standard, not a problem at all. Right, so we'll come out of there, we can go down the road a little, have a little jog in the August morning sunshine. So obviously, if you're going to go out in the sunshine, like it is in the UK at the minute, it's ridiculously hot, do it early in the morning. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, it's so hot here at the minute, I've got sweat dripping down my face. Right, carry on. So we'll come into here, to another production chain. So your swirling spindle, this is going to be your spinnery. So we'll click on that. No, we've got to stop. There you are. Click on that. 60 grand to buy. Then again, there's nowhere to take your fabric. So why? This is like the cereal factory, though, isn't it? It's like you can produce the stuff, but then where are you going to take it? There's nowhere to sell it. And there's no clothes shop. Oh, alright, fair enough. No just stuff in there. Pallet spawn point right there. And we'll come out of here. Down the road a little. Round to the left. So we've got our bakery. So standard base game on in there. Not a problem. So load your stuff in there. Pallet spawn point round the back. And then around the front is your production chain menu. 50 grand. Then we'll go over the road. It's going to be your sow point. So this one. We've moved up here. It's going to be called Stone Sales. So you want to sell some stone, you do it there. Then we'll come out of there, back down over this road. Because we've got an oil mill just down here. Now, where's the entrance gate? Oh, it's the other side, isn't it? <laughs> it would be. Right, round here. So you've got your pallet spawn point there, production chain up. Uh, loading in point there and your production chain menu is down the side like that 80 grand to buy then we'll come over the road here because you've got your great processing unit so pallet spawn point there production chain menu there 80 grand loading in point there and then next door to that we'll spin around there's another sale point so is this going to be fast food restaurant or diner Click on that. There you are. Fast food restaurant. Fair enough. Sell your stuff in there. <clears throat> and then we come back out and down the road. Turn a left here. Now this looks like a dairy to me. And it is. So standard base game one again. So click on there. 70 grand to buy. Down this side is your loading in point. There's your pallet spawn point. Jobs are good and get some dairyage on the go. Oh, there's a new word for you. Dairyage. <laughs> Fair enough. Now we got. Oh, what's that? It's interesting. So, what's that? Open wardrobe. The wa <laughs> Oh, at the laundromat, you got the wardrobe icon. That is ace. Obviously, you go there to wash your clothes. You can, t you can change your outfit while you're there. Oh, I like that. That's very nice. Brilliant. Right, so we're coming in. <laughs> that, that has made me laugh. That is well funny. Go and wash your clothes and change them while you're there. Ace. Right, so you've got your debris crushers to load in the top. Or load at the bottom there. Very nice. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to meet you up here. Because we're going to go do a bit of off-roading. So I'm going to go get myself a suitable vehicle. Now, before we get to the off-road track, there is actually a little bit I missed down here. So if you click on the buy section, you click on these areas like that. Buy that, yes, tar very much. You've got these areas here. You can dig out stones. You can quarry for stones in the river. So you've got one there. And then, oh no, I'm stuck in the river. I'll jump out. There you are. You come over here, and you've got one this side as well. So just like the wood chips at the top, you can do it with stones. Oh, I like that. Very nice. Right. Let's get off-roading. All right. So in this area, it's already given us warnings. Rough road. Road are closed ahead. Do not enter. All right. All right. Well, we've got this. <laughs> let's stay to that. It's a pink monster truck. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right. Let's give this a go. <laughs> if anything, it's going to be able to do it. It's going to be this. All right. Let's give it a thrashing up this off-road course. Well, we'll take it easy, because, you know, we don't want to be silly. 
Oh, it's a bit poppy already. Oh, hold on. Can't see where I'm going because of the trees. Right, over that. Ah, that's all right. Whoa! <laughs> right, let's get this done. Right, so that's that one bit done. Oh, the next bit is going to be ace, but before we go, we've got this other bit up here. So this is going to be another sow point for you, right in the middle of the woods. So this one is called Hilltop Sawmill. Fair enough. So load your stuff over there. Hit your sow wood icon. No, it's not a sawmill as such as its production chain. It's just a sow point. Well, that being said, it's collectible there. It's not very much. <laughs> right. It's, oh, there's one there. No. Oh, yeah. Making a bit of cash on this run. Right. We're now going to come to the hard bit. Because the next bit is rather crazy. So, let's turn around here. Oh, I can't actually see because of the trees. Up here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Oh no. I'm on the run. It's going wrong already. Oh, got further than the last time, I must admit. Can we go straight up? Come on. Ah, I don't want to go around the edge, that's cheating. <laughs> oh no. Sliding back down. Oh, come on. Give it give it some welly. Oh no, it's not liking that. Alright, let's back up a little. Wow. Oh, gone all the way back down to the bottom. Go on, let's give it a go again. We need to get over to the left. Oh, that's not that much over to the left. I mean, yeah, if you go up the side, that's not a problem. That's no fun. Then you've got to go over the rocks. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Oh, and there we are. We're at the top, eventually. Oh, shocking. Then at the top as well, is this. Oh, I'm stuck again. Right, there you are. I'll see you up there. And this is what we get at the top. Look at this view. Oh, that face. I think that's the road we come in on that off-road track there. You can see like the stones and the rocky area we've just driven through. And you've got the farmland there. You've got the town park down there. I mean, we've even got a couple of collectibles up here. So we'll do that while we're here. Because, you know, why not? That is a nice view. I mean, lots of trees on this map. If you're into your forestry, this would be nice for you. Get that done, no problem. Now, ah, this is all right. Great bit of fun coming up that rocky pass. Love it. Right, so that's your map tour done for you. Drop it in the comments below. What are you going to be doing? You can do a bit of forestry. Are you going to place some animal pens down? Or get a smash out from some farming? We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.